Welcome to the installation guide for the C57T overhead electric cassette blind. Take point to point measurements of the recess. Mark the recess measurements on the sky shell. Apply masking tape and create a cut line using a pencil. Cut the profile using a hacksaw. File down the sharp edges. Mark 100 millimeters from the end and 25 millimeters from the edge. Use a 4.1 millimeter drill bit to drill through the sky shell, and then use a 10 millimeter drill bit to create a countersink in the hole. Drill a 40 millimeter screw through the hole into the recess. If you're drilling into plasterboard, remove the screw and sky shell. Insert the wall plug into the hole and then fix the screw through the sky shell. Next, measure point to point between the two lips. Remove the security screws and lift the front cover off the head box. The motor is housed here. Drill a hole for the motor's cable. Connect the head box by pushing the lugs into the side channel. Ensure this groove within the side channel is at the top. Drill through the side channel to create a hole to fix it together. Fix a small screw from the inside through the side channels and into the lug. Now you're ready to lift the frame into the recess. Lift the blind up and fix the sky shell. Lift the side profiles of the sky shell into position. Insert screws in the center and edges of the sky shell. Insert three quarter self tapping round head screws into the top holes of the bottom bar. Measure the diagonals of the recess from one corner to the other. Screw the head box into the sky shell to prevent rattle or motor movement. Add packers behind the head box or side channels if needed. Lay the blind in the head box. Insert the bottom bar at an angle into the side channel. Feed the motor lead through the hole you created. Lift the roller into the square support, ensuring the program buttons face towards you. Move the pin end into position until you hear a click. Lift the motor up within its square support 
and place a screw through the hole to hold it in position. Place the RTS cable around the back of the transition plate. Connect the wire to the power supply and secure with insulation tape. Place the wire behind the head box. Insert the zip holders into the side channels. Pull enough tension wire to cover the length of the blind. If you're working on a large recess, we recommend placing an Allen key inside the box and pulling the tension wire out incrementally as shown. Push the ring at the end of the wire into the gap in the bottom bar's pile seal. Insert screw from above. Pull on the tension wire to ensure it is secure. Check the fabric is central within the head box. If it's not, push down on the bottom bar and slide the fabric left or right as needed. Next, press the program button on the motor. Press the up button on the remote control, followed by the down button. If the direction is wrong, press and hold the stop button for five seconds. Stop the fabric halfway across the recess by pressing the program button at the back of the handset. You'll hear the motor shunt when you do this. Next, go all the way to the bottom limit. Once the blind's shut, press the program button and it will shunt again. Finally, put the blind in the fully open position and press the program button. Press the program button again to finish. Slide the tension box left or right to ensure the wires are straight. Look up to see if the blind is level within the system. If it's not, push down on the bottom bar and slide the fabric left or right. When using this blind, it's normal to hear a noise. It's simply the tension wire pinging. The rippling at the sides of the fabric is caused by the zip lock within the side channels. Put the covers on the head boxes and insert screws. Add silicon to the edges of the sky shelf to complete this installation. Call cool today to place your order on 01268 570 900.